Hello, I'm Gary Stearman of Prophecy Watchers. Got a very, very special announcement to make. And with me are Armando Gonzalez and Bob Ulrich. And Bob, we're excited about something upcoming. Well, we are. Uh, I remember years ago, I heard someone say that the Prophecy Conference was dead, that no one wanted to come to Prophecy Conference anymore. Yeah. Do you remember that? I do. And then the late Tom Horn, our good friend, decided I think prophecy conferences have a place in the future. And he began to have these conferences. And then Tom kind of taught me how to pick up the ball and carry it and start conferences in other places for extremely large audiences. Thank you, Tom. God bless you. Christmas in Branson, December 5th through 8th of this year, is the latest uh, Watchers Weekend. Uh, we already have over 900 people registered for the event which is just shocking to me. I had no idea so many people wanted to go to Branson, but not only are they going to Branson for Branson, but they're going for Watchers Weekend and our latest Prophecy Conference. 20 speakers, uh, actually 22 speakers, 40 messages, and we're gonna have four days of fellowship there in just an incredibly beautiful place, the Chateau on the Lake Hotel. Yeah, and Bob, I'd like to say something at this point. We live in an exciting time. Uh, we live in an exciting time biblically, geopolitically, uh, things are happening and people are looking at their Bibles and saying, am I seeing this? Is this really happening? Mondo, it's an exciting time. It really is. And I think one of the fascinating and I think most important things about all of our, our speakers is just the, the wide variety of speakers that we have. Each of these guys are an expert in their field. They're, I, like the, I like the diversity of everybody ha kind of has their niche in many ways. And so here we are going to be just a few weeks after the election. And we'll, it, many of the speakers have told me privately, hey, can I wait to give you my title until after the election? Because um, that'll be really interesting and helpful to see where they go with what they want to share. And also myself included in, in thinking about, you know, I'm going to be talking about Israel and uh, from a geopolitical perspective. And Certainly what happens on November 5th is going to determine a lot of the trajectory of Israel's future from an American administration. Because we know, again, we've seen the last really few months that the Biden administration is quite different in how they approach Israel. And I'm going to be talking about something that is in the news, and um, it's, it's kind of a dark subject, but it has to do uh, with the way the Bible talks about genetics. And uh, the seed of the woman is what I'm going to be talking about, Bob. Uh, this is, uh, is news because there's a lot of genetic manipulation going on in the world today, and it's becoming, if you will, a very controversial subject. But the Bible has lots to say about it. Well, if you refer to it in the past as the seed war, yes, and it's an ancient battle that goes far back into the ancient past between Jesus and Lucifer. And it's one of the most fascinating, unexplored, topics in the entire Bible that a lot of people don't understand. Now, our conference is literally just going to be uh, just a few short weeks from the one-year anniversary of the October 7th attack. And uh, here just today, we saw Israeli ingenuity. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen it on the news with the pagers and the cell phones of all the terrorists blowing up. And so Israel, we can't forget, is at the heart of Bible prophecy. Uh, that's why I'm glad you're preaching on what you're preaching on. Uh, Bill Salas is going to be with us talking about uh, Hezbollah and the prophecies of Hezbollah. New interesting information coming out. In fact, just a little while ago, you said to me, Bob, the prophecies of the minor prophets are coming to pass right before our eyes. They are. In fact, uh, I've never seen people looking at the minor prophets the way they are right now. And we have a lot of people who are digging in very deeply, at, at looking at uh, Zephaniah, Zechariah, Haggai. I mean, people rarely used to read the minor prophets, but now suddenly we're looking at what's happening in the world today. and. Uh, events leading up to the day of the Lord, that is according to the Minor Prophets. And that, I think, is one of the most exciting things I've seen in a long time. Yeah, it shows the reality, I think, of, of, the, of the Scripture in that God put all this information in there, and no doubt it had an immediate uh, you know, application to the people of Israel, but also there's prophecies in there that speak about what we're living in here, the end of the age, and the restoration of Israel to the land, God's promises yeah. to them that He's going to accomplish, and the ways in which 
anti-Semitism is going to be increased, but yet God is going to reign supreme over that, and Israel will have its place. Uh, as we know, we talk often about what's the purpose of the tribulation, and it, it is the time of Jacob's trouble, but he will be saved out of it. And that's really as we see, we're seeing all these developments, again, even Third Temple, Red Heifer, all these things coming right fast track to see as we approach the end of the age. It's pretty amazing. And the people who will be speaking at Branson are all going to be honed in on these subjects. And the, we'll, we're talking about experts here, uh, people coming from all over to share, uh, and I would say passionately share, what they have discovered in the Bible. It's, it's a one-of-a-kind one of kind event. And you asked me a pointed question early this morning, what our mission is. And in all honesty, I thought it was a really strange question for him to ask me what our mission is. You can go to our website and learn what our mission is. Yes. But he stopped me in my tracks and I thought, well, what is our mission here? And I've concluded that our mission is to keep as many people out of the tribulation as possible and prepare people for the rapture of the church and the return of Jesus. I mean, isn't that the core of what we're really trying to do here is share the gospel and help people, you know, what's the old expression? Friends don't let friends go through the tribulation. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that is our mission here. Uh, you know, I think if you look at our government, our country sliding downhill, yeah. I mean, we're watching things that we can hardly even believe we're, we're witnessing in, in our lifetimes. Uh, Olivier Melnick, not too long ago, said to me, I asked him, did you ever expect to see this anti-Semitism? And he said, not in my lifetime. I've never experienced anything like this where you have to be afraid to be Jewish. So ultimately, Prophecy Watchers is all about preparing our audience for the return of the Lord and making sure if you're watching today that you know how to get to heaven and uh, you're not going to be left behind after the rapture and face the tribulation time. And you know, Bob, the other, the other part of, of this get together is uh, the convivial atmosphere. <clears throat> and I'm sure that Christmas in Branson will, will indeed be a very warm and welcoming event. And the people there, like, like uh, L.A. Marzulli, for example, you stop L.A. And, and you say, L.A., what do you think about such and such? And he will tell you what he thinks about such and such. And the beauty of a get-together like uh, Christmas in Branson is that you can meet and talk with the people that you've just heard about or read about, or maybe you've read their books, you can meet them in person. Including you. <laughs> Including Gary is planning on being with us in Branson. He's skipped out on the last few events after some health challenges, but I can tell he's got his old energy back and you can probably just see by the color in his face that he's so much more healthy, so much more energetic, excited about the Lord's soon return. Well, the Lord has blessed me, Bob, and I'm glad to be back. Amen. And you get to meet Mondo. I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> you know, one of the smartest people I think I've ever known. And he brings, I think, a unique perspective from an academic background into our ministry. Not that we're not academic, but he has, he can be a bit of a contrarian. Can I say that? Yeah, that's fair. Where he looks at things <clears throat> even deeper, like past the surface level of Scripture, and I'm sure, I'm sure many of you watch our ministry, follow our ministry, watch our program, because we do discuss things that are on the cutting edge, some of the gray areas of Scripture. They're always in the Bible. We don't talk about things not in the Bible. But I think our ministry is, is incredibly unique. I think you've uh, been a great addition to what we study here. December 5th through 8th, Christmas in Branson at the Chateau on the Lake. Now, I will tell you the Chateau has been sold out for probably the last two months. It's a beautiful five-star hotel, amazing location. Uh, we're going to be meeting from morning to night in the hotel. We do have multiple other overflow hotels in the Branson area. If you've ever been to Branson, you know there are many, many, many hotels up and down the Strip. There's no shortage of hotel rooms. They really do Christmas great in Branson. Everything is decorated. The hotel is decorated. I've been there at Christmas time. Just a beautiful place. You register for the event, and we still have probably about 300, uh, 250 or 300 seats left. BransonChristmasProphecyConference.com. That's the place to register. That's the place to see the speakers, the agenda. We have a, uh, an activity on Saturday night where we're going to be taking an entire group of people uh, to the Sight and Sound Theater uh, for a Christmas play about, about Jesus. And uh, we already have a, a lot of people who are registered. If you've never been a sight and sound, it's a one-of-a-kind experience. 
super fantastic place. There's one in Lancaster, the other one is in Branson. I've been there many times and they just do a great job with live plays. They bring in real camels, they bring in people dressed in Old Testament times. Just an amazing facility, a uh, great message. Last time I was there, Dave Reagan was with me and Dave Reagan literally was in tears. He was just so moved by the play that they were showing. So we're looking forward to seeing you. We have room for you. Uh, go to the website, find the Overflow Hotel Rooms, and you can stay in Branson. Uh, it's going to be a great four-day trip, uh, full of blessings and interesting experiences. Meeting Gary, meeting Mondo, meeting L.A., meeting Billy Crone. And I, I love what you said earlier about the variety of messages. Uh, you're going to hear about the rapture of the church. You're going to hear about the latest news from Israel. For sure, you're going to hear about the election one way or another from Billy Crone, the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, UFOs, the Shroud of Turin, uh, you know, everything humanly imaginable. We have just a great plethora of speakers. Current events seen through the eyes of Christian students of the Bible. And when I say that, I mean the top students of the Bible. Mondo, I think I covered it all. Oh, I forgot one thing. See, I had this image of my wife walking in here reminding me exactly. that we're going to be announcing four special meals during the event, a breakfast, uh, a couple of lunches and a dinner. There's going to be special speakers on really, I think, some really provocative subjects that I know you're going to enjoy. If you're already registered for the event, keep your eye on the website. We'll be offering the meals for sale on the website here probably within the next week or so. And I know that's always one of the highlights of the event is to have speakers uh, uh, while you're enjoying a great meal, uh, preaching the gospel and talking about Bible prophecy. Mano Gonzalez, Bob Ulrich, I'm Gary Stearman, and uh, we hope you can join us. Hey, you keep watching. We are.